Hello everybody, another video here for you today. Uh, this from the do-it-yourself series, actually it's not a series, I've done one other, I think, maybe two other um, do-it-yourself videos, uh, and I'll put the link to that video uh, in the upper right here. But the problem today is the shower does not get that hot, it's just warm. The bathroom sink, however, gets very hot, so I think the problem is going to be here behind the handle, which would be either the anti-scald mechanism, which you can um, do very uh, easily, uh, and there's also the hot pipe, cold pipe uh, mixture uh, valve in there, and but uh, and that could be it, but most of the time it's going to be just that uh, anti-scald thing. So uh, the only thing you need to do as far as um, getting that handle off is an Allen wrench. It's a 3 seconds inch uh, Allen wrench. I have a uh, bit here, and I will show you that screw once I get that off. One moment. And that's what she said. Um, the, as you can see, the Allen screw is right there, and, um, you just take that, uh, unscrew that, and the handle pulls right off. Uh, so, oh, the first thing you do on, on this is you plug up the drain, because if you drop a screw or something, you do not want it going down the drain, so that is the first step. Uh, and there is the, uh, latch. And one moment, gotta put the handle down. Alrighty, so there is the mechanism and, uh, sorry about the fingers being in the way. I uh, decided to do this video because there is not one like this on YouTube that I found most of it. This uh, uh, plastic part will just pop right off. And then you can put it back on uh, in the orientation that you need it on. So, but this one has a spring in it. So you just like pull it out and adjust it and then it springs back in. Sorry for that. I really need a camera person. Uh, so you can see where that line is, that vertical line right there. And as you can see that, I can see the problem now, that's halfway uh, between, you know, on those ridges, like more, not even halfway. So. That's definitely going to be a problem, so I will probably put that all, like almost all the way back. And you want to do it a little bit at a time, but uh, I'll go maybe not all the way. So that's all the way, as you can see. I've, you pull it out and turn it counterclockwise. I'm going to back it off a little, oops, sorry. I'm going to back that off a little bit. Uh, not go all the way because we don't want to burn anybody. Uh, so I'm going to come back to you here. And so it was probably not quite halfway. And this is like three quarters of the way as hot as it can go. Uh, whoops, sorry. Again. And so then, and that's all you got to do. You can uh, uh, then just uh, screw the handle back on there and then test it out. Alrighty, so I've tested it out, uh, screwed the handle back on there, and uh, it is a lot better now. Uh, I'll see how it goes on my uh, shower tomorrow morning, uh, and I can always adjust it very easily, uh, a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler if I need to. So the idea is to do it in small increments uh, and test it uh, so that way you do not get burned. And again, the reason I did the video is because I did not, I looked on, you know, I always look on YouTube to see how to do stuff, uh, even though I have a vague idea how to do it, uh, and did not find one that had that type of adjustment on there. Uh, like I said, it, it would just have the plastic piece that comes all the way off, but that one is like a spring-loaded thing, so you just pull it out, adjust it, uh, and then it pops back into place. So, uh, there you go. Another do-it-yourself from uh, Old Man do it yourself thing, I guess. Uh, from uh, Coach Steve Money. Thanks.